No, you were right, Vicky. The doctor wouldn't wait for us here. He must have gone back to the town. Yes, probably. You know, you know, there's something very peculiar going on. Now, I've got to accept something, so, all right, I accept you've got a time machine. <laughs> all right. But the watch, the gramophone, the sax, well, it doesn't matter. There must be something to do with that monk. Now, I think we should go back to the monastery. Oh, uh, no, because the doctor will want to investigate just as much as you, probably more. Let's find him and all three do it together, hmm? Okay, Tom, you lead the way. It's a, it's a sort of herb. Well, now, I wish you'd take that outside. This is a monastery. Can't you see I'm trying to tend a sick man? Oh, I'm sorry, Father. Everett, Everett. Everett, Everett. Listen, the Vikings, you know. Now, if they were a scouting party, how soon would it be before the other ships arrived? If they... If they were part of the main fleet, two or three days from Thank you. Thank you. Two or three days. I'm on schedule. I'm on schedule. Yes, now that's um, a very interesting one there. I think this is the first time that we get to meet um, a member of the Doctor's own race, the meddling monk. Uh, that was called The Time Meddler and concludes the second season of Doctor Who. Peter Butterworth there playing the meddling monk who, of course, had had so much success in comedy. Um, Carry On films spring to mind. I'm sure he appeared in one or two of them. Um, always a sort of a naughty glint in his eye. Um yeah, he gave a terrific performance there, full of anachronisms, you know, with the paracetamol and the gramophone and the watch. Uh, really curious uh, story, this one. Um, and the setting of the monastery, I think, works particularly well. I think uh, it happened again, possibly later on in during Patrick Troughton's time in The Abominable Snowmen, there's something very sort of atmospheric and um, sort of slightly unnerving about uh, the setting of a monastery, isn't there? And of course, very nice to see Peter Purvis there as the new companion, Stephen Taylor. Um, he has had so much um, success in his career, you know, presenting Blue Peter. Um, but um, he really brings the character of Stephen to life. And um, he looked devilishly handsome there, didn't he, in, in that cloak? But yeah, no, I really love that story. Yeah, really, um, really enjoyed that. Yeah, the time meddler. <laughs> 